welcome back to Naya Reads and Smiles. Today I have my very first review for you guys. This will be a non-spoilery review so you don't have to worry about being spoiled about this book. Um, it is just a quick little review of it and my opinion and my feels on this book and it is Lucy Christopher's Stolen. Um, man. This was the very first book I've ever read that's written in the second person and it is written as a letter. Um, it is about a girl named Gemma um, who has been kidnapped by a guy named Ty and um, basically kidnapped from an airport and taken to a completely different country in the middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, this is basically a letter to her captor and um, you know, when I picked up this book I didn't know what to expect. It was just um, at Barnes and Nobles. It was on their bestsellers list, and I needed another book, so I just grabbed this one, and I'm so glad I did. Okay, so now let's get into the details of things. So this book, I've never read a book about this kind of relationship before, and um, you know, a relationship between a victim and their captor, and. The love in this book and the um, the raw emotion in this book, it kind of made me tear up a lot and I am not a crier when it comes to books. I mean, I will like feel like my heart will ache, it's like for example when I read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, my heart really ached, but I never cried. Um, and this book, this book made me cry and um, that's why... <laughs> That is why um, I'm going to give this 11 out of 10 stars because I feel like everyone should read it and throughout the book I was so confused and I kept questioning my emotions because it's like the way this book makes you feel it's like you kind of feel like you shouldn't be feeling this like this is wrong you know what's going on in the book um, I, I just throughout the entire book your curiosity is what keeps you going and um, it's just you want it there's so much you want to know and there's so much you want the author to give you more but she kind of just like hangs this little thread or this carrot in front of you and just makes you keep running for it and that is what made me finish this book in about four hours it is such a beautiful and heart-wrenching story I was torn I was in love I was there's so much power and beauty in this book and like I said, like throughout the book, you're just, you're so confused, not about what's going on, but just how you feel about everything. You're just so confused, just like the character um, who's writing this letter. And um, it's, it's something, it's, it was completely new to me, is all, is the best way I can describe it. This book will confuse you, it will make you cry, you will fall in love with both the characters, Gemma and Ty. Um, and you'll be very conflicted while reading this book, but it'll be so worth it. And nothing in this book is sugar-coated everything is just pure raw and you know the narrator Gemma who's writing this letter she's so real and so true and just everything she's describing and how she's feeling you just you become so attached to her and you feel like it's you who's writing this letter and it's it completely just sucks you in and very few books can do that um, like this book did and it is honestly an amazing book and I'm so I wish it got a bigger award than just um, uh, an honor book award because it literally is amazing and I think you guys should read it and if you do read it comment what you think because I this is honestly on my top 10 favorite standalone books and um, that's the other thing I wanted to say was that you know when I finished this book and I finished this book yesterday around like five o'clock. I felt like something was missing when I finished reading it and I ended up rereading the last chapter of the book about like literally five times because I just, I felt like, I literally, I just felt like I was missing something and I wanted so much more. I wanted to know what happened after but then at the same time finding out what happened after would kind of ruin it. Um, that's what I did. I just reread the last chapter and it's gonna take me probably a couple days before I can like my emotions again and move on to the next book on my TBR pile for December but honestly this book was amazing and I think you guys should all read it and check it out and 11 11 out of 10 stars amazing um, and if you guys do read this book let me know if you guys want a discussion um, which will have spoilers in it um, I try to keep this one as spoilery free as possible but um, let me know what you guys think um, just amazing. I love this book and I'm getting so emotional so I'm gonna go now. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.